Small incision cataract surgery is a common cataract surgical technique. It is useful for high volume cataract surgery. Unfortunately, many patients had complications, which means they are left blind after the cataract surgery. Complications while opening of the anterior capsule is often the reason for poor surgical outcome of small incision cataract surgery. In this video we would like to discuss some of the ways to avoid such complications. You can find the links to other videos on similar topics in the description of this video. You can also find the links to the instruments used in these steps in the description of the video. Alfred Both was a Swiss ophthalmologist, who described the earliest technique of capsulotomy. He used tooth forceps for tearing out a part of anterior capsule. However, this technique caused significant capsular complications. Subsequently, Kullman in 1968 reported, Christmas tree, approach. He used a cystitome to peel anterior capsule to create a triangular opening in a Christmas tree morphology. Further improvements targeted to improve on this technique by creating a smooth, circular, and central anterior capsulotomy. Can opener capsulotomy. Dick Pratt's was of the view that posterior chamber fake or emulsification was safer than in the anterior chamber and devised the can opener capsulotomy and his iris plane fake or emulsification technique. This technique is commonly employed for doing extracapsular cataract surgery. The technique involves creation of a circular opening 5 to 6 mm in diameter by series of small tears in the anterior capsule with a cystitome. Cystitome is made by either bending a 26 gauge needle or using a prefabricated commercially available cystitome. As indicated by its name the can opener capsulotomy is a circular ragged opening with multiple irregular freely mobile capsule attacks. Complications It is these ragged edges of the torn capsule that are a source of inherent weakness. It increases the risk of radial tears if there is an increase in intercapsular pressure. While can opener capsulotomy is easy to perform, its ragged edges makes it unsuitable for fake emulsification. The main problem associated with can opener capsulotomy is occurrence of anterior capsular radial tears. Not only, tears make the capsular bag unstable, it interferes in aspiration of cortical matter. Moreover, it can also affect the centration of IOL. These radial tears can extend through zonulase causing catastrophic posterior capsular tears. Also, tags can occlude aspiration ports and obstruct removal of cortical lens matter. If too much aspiration force is used during cortical cleanup, anterior capsular tags can be pulled, and cause posterior capsular ruptures, vitreous disturbance and peepodding of intraocular lens. Hope you find the video useful. Please let us know in comments the factors you think also causes complications during capsulotomy. Please let us know the other topics on which you would like to see similar videos. Check the description below for a link to other useful videos and instruments mentioned in the video.